If you were alive and scrolling through the internet back in 2015, then surely you know about this guy. Welvin de Great became super famous after he posted a vine of himself prank calling his dad. But this wasn't always the sort of positive fame that respects someone's sense of humor. Welvin was subject to hate and pranking himself, from death hoaxes to nasty videos. Let's delve into the tragic story behind Dee's Nuts and see what Welvin's been up to these last few years. Welvin Harris was born to a normal family in Long Beach, California on May 31st, 1988. It is unknown what happened to his parents, but from a very young age, Welvin was raised by his aunt and many cousins. They say young Welvin would often entertain them with his already dirty sense of humor. Welvin's family wasn't exactly rich, and when he became an adult, he took a job cleaning bathrooms and taking out the garbage. He would keep his chin up and dream big. But this was also around the same time when he discovered Instagram and created his own account. However, he also had an undisclosed disability, which meant he would often get picked on at school, at work, or around his neighborhood. Perhaps unsurprisingly, his vines would stir reactions right in between appreciation and hate. His first viral vine was uploaded in 2015, and it was titled, Who Don't Got No Bitches. I'm trying to vouch for you, but the homie said you ain't got no Baba boy. Who don't got no bruh? And then came these Nuts. These Nuts? <laughs> now this may not be Welvin's original catchphrase, as it first appeared on Dr. Dre's 1992 album, The Chronic. There's also an Australian hardcore punk band called These Nuts, which formed in 2007, that name was definitely a choice. Nevertheless, the vine was hilarious and catchy, and it spread quickly across the globe. It had nothing to do with the fact that people were laughing at his messed up teeth. That would just be shallow. That's right. People have noticed that the main audience for his vine were young teens with little to no moral compass. His face then got transformed into thousands of memes that were more or less funny, and Welvin became a living meme. But there's always a silver lining as Welvin knew how to profit from it. His neighbor, Lefty, became his manager, and together, they made some pretty decent money out of it. Most of the money came from paid attendances at parties and concerts. They charged between $4,000 and $40,000 for one attendance. This tour was an instant success. He's trying to kick me out of the car <laughs> to fit the four girls in so he could take them to the room. <laughs> Within a few months, Welvin's Instagram account gained more than 1 million followers. He got shout outs from some serious stars such as DJ Khaled and had access to all sorts of exclusive events. Rappers lamer than Mark Zuckerberg in his college years. Speaking of school of rap with college, I'm on a scholarship. Hip hop honors, I'm on. You could say he'd entered the California high life. But with the fame came the drama. Soon, Welvin de Great appeared in newspapers for getting arrested for inappropriately touching some ladies at a party. However, the charges were soon proved to be completely false and were dropped. This could have been one of the first cases of people trying to profit off of Welvin. Within the following year, Welvin started appearing in short movies and specials, such as the comedy sketch, Welvin the Great Special. What's her favorite color? Fuchsia. Fuchsia? Turquoise. Wow. Green color? Nuts. Got him. <laughs> And during those years, it seemed like Welvin felt super confident. He was on top of the world, and the only direction he could go was forward, especially in the interviews that he gave alongside his manager, Lefty. She married Jay-Z. You think you could pull Beyonce from Jay-Z? Of course. Of I'm course. Press. <laughs> I mean, pressing niggas. Then there are interviews and moments which seem a bit uncomfortable. And that's when people started to feel like Welvin was old news, and he wasn't bringing anything fresh or exciting to his career. Look. Look. It's not shocking then to see comments like, these people are laughing at this poor man and making money off it. Sad to see. And this might be true. Soon after the fame and glory, everything seemed to change for Welvin, and it all went downhill pretty fast. Unfortunately, Welvin fell victim to internet hackers and lost his Instagram account. After he made a new one, he was only able to amass 100,000 followers. That's a lot to you and me, but not for a guy who used to be followed by millions. In April 2021, Welvin was filmed in a pretty bad state in front of a metro station. Yeah, bro. You don't do no video of me? Welvin was scared of the man taking the video, saying, I thought you was gonna hurt me. 
Not only that, but the video was taken around the corner from Skid Row, the largest homeless community in America. A lot of people were disturbed and worried for Welvin, seeing how upset he was in the video with seemingly no support system. And it wasn't long before rumors started that Welvin's family took advantage of him, taking all his money and leaving him on the streets. And it's not impossible to believe if you look at these other videos of him. Why was he passed out on the pavement? Was he really homeless? Was he struggling with substance abuse? As if these videos weren't weren't enough, soon the hoaxes started. Several websites started posting news that Welvin had passed away. A website falsely confirmed this news without checking any facts, writing an obituary for the D's nuts guy. In response, Welvin appeared in a video alongside his cousin who confirms that he's alive and well, and asked the online blogging community to stop posting false rumors about him. I'm alive and I'm okay. And I wish that these blogs would stop with all these rumors. Welvin's cousin seems sweet and filled with good intentions, but this might not be the case for all of his cousins. In a recent comedy special interview, Welvin admits to some disturbing facts about friends and family stealing his money. First, he talks about his manager, Lefty. And, like, he just like took all my money, my shirt, and my socks. Then, when he was asked about his family, it gets even worse. He said, and advised viewers to stay away from the fam. Did she give you anything out of that? Nah. It's pretty shocking to think Welvin ended up on Skid Row because of his own family. It's sad enough that the internet can be mean and laugh at someone's disability, but to think that Welvin's friends and family profited off someone who wasn't prepared for becoming an international star is truly worrying. Since all that happened, it seems like Welvin is trying to get back on track. That is, he looks better and happier, and he's not sleeping on the pavement anymore. In a very recent video, Welvin was caught on camera by two people walking through Hollywood. He proceeded to greet them, walk the streets of Los Angeles with them, and led them to a bar. Hey, and which one you think I should try? As per his Instagram account, it seems like Welvin DeGreat keeps squeezing in his favorite joke to his fans' delight. Say something to him. These nuts. <laughs> Welvin keeps posting pictures he took with his fans in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, the city he's supposedly living in at the moment. Welvin has had a difficult childhood, and his rise to stardom wasn't exactly a walk in the park either. It's perhaps a never-ending debate. Whether everyone is exploiting Welvin's mental illness or his stardom is, after all, making something positive of his condition. At least for now, after the hardship of being betrayed by so many people, he seems to be doing way better. We can only hope things continue in that direction for him. We hope you liked our video. What do you think about Welvin to great story? Were people right in making him a meme in the first place? Let us know what you think in the comment section and before you leave, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons.